Hey, what's going on everybody? This is hole number six of the Texan Track Nine Hole Cup Tournament Master Division Qualifying Round. We're gonna start off the hole with an extra mile level nine and a luminary ball. Clear ring touching the rough on the left-hand side at max extension. Then we're going to apply max topspin with two right spin. After you've applied your spin, if you have an APOC level seven plus, you can swap to that club at this point. P0 max plus 20% elevation is our adjustment. <clears throat> and then after we adjust, we're going to push forward five yards to the top of the corresponding plus yardage. So from plus nine, I'm gonna to go to the top of plus 14. Then we're going to apply max overpower with one ball of right curl. We hit perfect. First bounce is going to land in the first fairway. We're going to go over the water into the next fairway and then roll out for a drive distance of 457 yards. For our approach shot, we're going to use a sniper level 10. This is a no moving target setup, so don't move your rings until it's time to adjust. We're just going to apply our spin so that the tip of the ball guide is approximately two squares short of the hole. If you can't get the ball guide pointing directly toward the middle of the cup, you can get it close and then always reposition slightly left or right as needed. Our adjustment is gonna be based on our landing position, which is plus 10. So my adjustment here is gonna be wind minus 0.1, so 11.5 rings, and I'm gonna pull twice over the bullseye. Last step is we're going to apply circle break under power. And we hit perfect. Ball's gonna land in the fairway, bounce up onto the green. Our speed is really good, but we're gonna miss about a half a cup outside the right edge. Um, so two things I would say, one, I either need to pull a little bit more 1159, which is gonna bring me more to the left, or two, I guess three things perhaps. Uh, we could offset our ball guide so it's pointing toward the left edge of the cup, um, or three, use a little bit of left curl, but that's probably gonna be wind angle dependent. For further instructions on how to play this hole, make sure you guys click the link below and subscribe to Master Tournament Guides through Golf Class Tommy. Good luck in your qualifying rounds.